Justin Cruz. Cloudy conditions and gusty winds. Current temperature 81 with trade winds at 22 miles per hour. We have a few weather threats we've got to talk about, and they deal with the winds, not so much the rain, but strong winds due to high pressure. And that's also going to kick up the East Shore surf. We'll probably get a high surf advisory for the East Shores on Wednesday. Here's what's going on we're storm free, and that's great. But because we have high pressure that is so strong to the north of us, we're seeing trades tomorrow that are, will be 15 to 30 miles per hour with stronger gusts. Those gusts could be potentially as strong as 50 miles per hour. So now's a good time to secure any loose objects around the house. In terms of shower activity, we are seeing windward showers roll through today. I'll show you that. Um, but into the future, just very light shower activity. Nothing that's very drenching or having, uh, heavy at this point. Out. We are seeing, though, shower activities, especially for a few areas, including the island of Kauai. You can see those showers kind of move through briefly moderate when they hit the mountains, but there's quite a bit of moisture moving through the Garden Isle right now. Not so much for Oahu. We are seeing isolated showers move through. Different situation for Maui County where those showers are quite frequent and there's more upstream, so areas such as East Maui, even the Central Valley, all the way through Molokai, we'll see some showers that will continue through tonight. Not so bad uh, for the Big Island. We're seeing isolated showers there, and it's all on the windward sides from the north straight down to the south. In surf, we mentioned those winds. Picking up the surf tomorrow, six to eight feet. But as this increases, we'll probably see a high surf advisory for the east shores. No more than three to four for the south. Nice little bump there. And four to six for the north shore. So tomorrow, mostly cloudy and windy with windward showers. Drier for leeward spots, but still, leeward spots may see a stray shower or two. The two windiest days are Wednesday and Thursday. Then on Friday, right before the weekend, those winds are still there, but they're not going to be as strong, down to about 25 miles per hour. It's still breezy, though. Then drier weather kicks in this weekend, and we lose the trade winds completely starting on Sunday in through Tuesday. So windy now, and then very light or non-existent winds later on this weekend.